Uh, the first one now is, uh, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. The second one now is not my best for that. And uh, it, even though I did pretty good on it, I was not my best, and uh, Jimmy was a better man that night. And uh, my last one was a little bit underwhelming, but uh, I was dominant uh, regardless. And uh, here we are tonight. And do you feel any intimidation um, coming over fighting in a uh, Jimmy Munoz home country? And secondly, uh, because of Jimmy Munoz's record and his heavy hands? Uh, no uh, intimidation uh, about coming over here. I mean, I've come over here and when you're in the, in the octagon, you, know, you don't even notice anything else, it's just you and the guy. And uh, in regards to uh, how heavy his hands are, I mean, he fought Kyle Kingsbury, and he literally, I think he dropped him once, you know, when he was kind of moving back a little bit. And uh, other than that, he, he was, Kyle Kingsbury was his punching bag for two rounds, and he didn't drop him again since then, and didn't drop Diabate. You know, everyone talks about his crazy knockout power, but if his knockouts were all in prior to UFC, then, He's fighting lesser fighters, so the the knockout intimidation is not a factor. Um, I've I've trained with the best kickboxer in the world, Alistair, over in Tyrone Spong, you know, uh, some of the best uh, MMA guys, Ryan Bader, uh, Rashad Evans. I'm not uh, I'm not intimidated by his power. Uh, speaking about knockouts, your first uh, your first uh, your UFC debut, your yeah. knockout over. And then Brosh, the seven second one. Do yeah. you think that was a um, kind of bittersweet knockout? Uh, because like ever, ever since like people have known you as like the seven second knockout guy, and they're lo so looking forward and expecting like some fireworks from me. Uh, yeah. Well, so yeah, there's good and bads to it. You know, the more expectations, but uh, I think I've been for the most. I mean, for the most part, excitement wise, except for my last fight, living up to them. You know, I dropped all three of my opponents, you know, the first of seven seconds, and then the head kick with the James Tahuna, you know, and uh, my last one, I dropped the uh, Igor as well. So, I mean, when I touch you good, you know, you go you go on the ground. So, uh, I, I think Jimmy should probably be more worried about my power than I should be worried about his. And would you be looking to keep this fight standing? Or are you going to enable a wrestling game and see what Jimmy's like off the box? Uh, I, I like to stand up, and I think he does, and I think everyone else wants this, you know? we. we you know, it's uh, it's got fireworks written all over. It's got fire night written all over it. So, I think that's what everyone's looking forward to. And moving on to something a little bit different. Yeah. Um, your dancing. Yeah. How, how often do you train or do you uh, practice your dancing? Uh, I practice it daily. Sometimes in the grocery store. Sometimes in the suit. You know, it's, my girlfriend's embarrassed to be with me sometimes because I do it in public. People stare. It's awesome. So, yeah, so uh, quite quite often though, but, and, and sometimes pretty seriously, you know, like, so probably too much. I haven't got much of a life, so. And fighters uh, like to evolve their game. Do you like to evolve your dancing? Can we expect any different dance moves from you? Uh, yeah, the one they saw afterwards last time was a little bit rushed and excited. It was actually, I look at it like, oh, it's horrible. So, today I'll slow down and I'll make sure it's uh, up to par.